Hello children, today we are going to start with the new chapter of SST, People Who Help Us. Aims of the lesson, to know about different people who help us. To tell the students about the importance of helpers in our daily life. To make the students aware of different kinds of work. Let's learn about who are helpers. The people who help us with our household work are known as helpers. They make our life easy and comfortable. We cannot do everything ourselves. Many people around us do different kind of work which help us. They work in different places. Here are some people who help us. A farmer grows food for us. A cobbler mends our shoes. A watchman guards our neighborhood. A sweeper cleans the streets. A tailor stitches our clothes. A plumber mends leaking pipes in our houses and offices. A carpenter makes furniture like chairs and tables for our homes and our offices. A soldier protects the country against the foreign aggression. A shopkeeper sells us things that we need for our daily needs. Now let's learn about some of the people who help us at our home. They are called the domestic helpers. They are not very well qualified and they earn less amount of money. These are some of the people who help us at our home. The milkman delivers milk to our houses. He comes every day to deliver the healthy milk we need to survive. A postman delivers letters and parcels at our doorsteps. He sorts out and brings it at our doors. The electrician fixes electrical wires and machines. Now let's learn about people who help us outside our homes. They are called professional helpers. They are very well educated and earn a good amount of money for their services. These are some people who help us outside our homes. The doctor treats us when we are ill. She or he gives us medicine when we are not feeling well. A policeman guards our neighborhood and maintains law and order in the area. The mechanic repairs cars and our automobiles. All these people work and help to make us comfortable. If they did not help us, we won't be able to do all this work by ourselves. This is why we must respect them and the work they do. We should speak to them politely. Children, now let's learn about the importance of education. A school plays an important role in the development of our life. It is a place where we learn, read and write. It also helps us in acquiring good habits and moral values. 
Now let's revise some new terms that we have learned in this chapter. Qualification. A skill that you need to do a particular job. Profession. A job that needs a high level of education. Deprived. Not having enough of basic things. Education. The process of receiving systematic instruction is called education. Thank you and I hope the concept is clear to you.